Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the merge map to operator. In the previous video, we have learned about the merge map operator, right? In the same scenario, it will be like this only merge map to. So what we have learned in the uh, in our operators, map and map to difference, how it will be in the same same like that only merge map and merge map to also the difference will be like that only. Now, if you take this merge map, it will take the source value, whatever the source observable value it is emitted, something like one. It will take that value in the consideration, the merge map, and it will create an observable according to this one. But this merge map two is a different one. So now it will not, it will not bother about the value what has been emitted by the source observable. So whatever the value it is emitted, so it will not consider this value. And whenever the value is emitted by the, by the source observable, it will create a new observable. So that will be a constant. So that constant means that will be a same observable, same inner observable. All the time, whenever the source observable is created, uh, when, whenever the source observable is emitted, then it will create the same inner observable. So the same scenario, it will be constant all the time. So that is the thing they are trying to tell. In the map map 2 also the same thing. Map 2, it will create, whenever a source observable is emitted, it will it will send the same value same value means whatever the value we have added in the map to in the same scenario it will send the same observable so there the value here the observable and here if you try to see the definition projects each source value to the same observable so each source value to the same which is merged multiple times in the output observable so each source value whatever the source value it is emitted so it will it will send the same observable to the output observable they are saying so here if you try to see the syntax for this merge map to operator the same how the merge map operator will be the same in the, in the same scenario it will be having these three parameters first parameter is an observable what is the observable you want to send here it is not a project function it is an observable so it's directly an observable what is the observable you are trying to send it will be a constant constant means same all the time whenever the source observable will be emitted whatever the value it may be it will it will emit the same observable so this is the inner observable it will be always will be the same and here the result selector which is a deprecated one in the uh, 7.1.0 but it will be deleted in the version 8. So result selector is nothing but for this observable if you want to do any transformation something like that okay it's like a map operator and here last one is a concurrent. So how many <clears throat> how many observables should be executed at a time. So whenever the source observable is emitting a value it will inner observable will be executed right. So how many how many value how many observables should be ex executed at a time it is a concurrent. So here these are the parameters the same what are the parameters you are having in the merge map the same type of parameters you are having in the merge map too also but the first parameter is nothing but instead of having a project function here you will be having direct observable if you try to see here the mar marble diagram so first one is uh, emitted by the source observable here you are having an inner observable which is emitting 10 10 10 three times so those those will be reflected directly here now three is emitted again it will re it, it will send these three 10 values Again, 5 means it will send the 3, 10 values. Whatever the value it may be, it will send the, whatever the inner observable is emitting the value, it will be sent directly those many times. So, this is about the marble diagram. So, here if you try to see, maps each source observable to the given observable, regardless of the source value. Regardless of the source value means it will not consider the source value. And then merges those resulting observables into single observable, which is an output observable. So, let us try to see the practical implementation, how the merge map 2 will be implemented. So, we will be using this one in the rare scenarios, but it is better to know about this operator. <coughs> so, I am creating a new page merge map to operator. I am creating a component. Let us add this component in the routings. So, here I am adding in the operators.html router link I am creating merge map to as this one is a merge map to. Let us write like this merge map to and let us go to the app routing.module.ts and here I will write merge map to and here I can write so let it create here merge map to operator right so here I will write merge map merge map to merge map to operator component yeah let us go to the component so here if I try to see the component let us try to see now in the previous merge map we are having uh, different right so the same same syntax it will be off so I am having an observable so it is generating an observable so with ids 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 so whatever that is here here we are having a list of ids and we will subscribe to this one okay so now console.log data 
now here i want to use the merge map to so now merge map to so now if i try to use the merge map to so now you need to understand that there is no uh, there is nothing no no project function here directly you can write ajax call okay and you can sorry you can paste this url so it will be always fixed so there is no project function there is no returning or anything so i can use this ajax operator what are the things so which whatever may be the what i can say the method so you can you can add interval of thousand something like that whatever things which returns an observable you need to know so you need to add a method in such a way that it it needs to return an observable so now i have added merge map to something like this that's it let us try to see the output now if i try to see the output here let's go to the rxjs basics i am going to the operators okay here i am going to merge map to so if we try to see here five times it has been created now all the five times it will be a Two, two, two. So the same URL. It will be trying to call the same URL. So how many source values, uh, source observable values is there? Those many times the Ajax call will be called. Now if you try to see, you can use data dot response here directly. So data dot response. You can use the data dot response so that you can get the response output. So Ajax res. Uh, sorry, you will be able to see that user ID. These all the things values in this one. Okay. So instead of having this data dot response, if you want to add it, uh, add it in this merge map means you have already I told you right result selector. So I prefer not to use that result selector. So if you want to use means you prefer use this map pipe of map operator, okay? And here we can add this pipe of map operator for this one, and you will be having this data. So you can return data dot response, okay? So in the previous video I have shown you how to add the result selector for that one so right now i am not showing this result selector as it is deprecated in the version 8 so there is no need for us to use it here so now you can directly use the data here so that you will get user id something like that only okay now here you will get the same output like this and also we have another one another parameter that is nothing but concurrent so one will be called after after getting success of this ajax next next again the source value will be called like this after completion of this ajax after some completion of this subscription only then another time it will be called so if you try to use one so here where i need to use yeah here pipe operator and here you are having this ajax right here i need to use okay so this is a second parameter and if i try to run so here the same thing so one will be called at a time after completing after completion of this one call you will be able to call this another one okay concurrently so at a time only one will only one ajax call will be made if you write two means at a time only two will be made so this is all about the merge map to so blindly you can remember that merge map to is nothing but operator whatever the source value it is so in the so merge map to whatever the source observable value will be so whatever the source observable value so it will emit the same observable okay whatever the observable you are returning in the merge map to it will return the same observable that is the thing you need to remember hope you understood about this merge map to if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.